Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations. I'm Christy, grab a cup, and welcome to episode number 30. Check it out, hit 500, posted the winner earlier today. A lot of you have seen that. Uh, one of the things I didn't do was I didn't check if she was a subscriber. And so I did right before I posted this video and she's not a subscriber. So I'm gonna leave it up there for a week and if she claims it and I check at the time that she claims and she is a subscriber at that time, then um, then I'll honor. But um, there's a chance that uh, I might be drawing another winner for that. So <laughs> let's get on with uh, our episode. Welcome. Hope, hope all of you had, had a wonderful holiday weekend. I know it was quite warm. A lot of places, it's been quite warm. My uncle lives in Tucson and he said, uh, barbecuing in 105 degrees is not all what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> I said, you moved there. <laughs> um, the other thing that happened this weekend was we have a new baby coming. We have been discussing it for a couple months and they didn't want anyone to know for a while then they decided they would tell us now we had a revealing today and it is a baby girl so I've got the patterns you know I'll fly in today picking out something but I sent over something already and I'll be making lots of stuff so I'm excited about that all right back to admin well, it's been one of those weeks, beginning and ending of a month. All kinds of chaos are going on. So, um, we'll start right out with Christy's Closet D-Stash. Last week, we had these three lovely skeins. And they were won by Angela Prescott. Congratulations to Angela. And then the new stash has been put up. Now, that one is going to be five skeins of dark horse and it is called majestic this is kind of like a novelty yarn i would say it's like a ribbon yarn it it you can't split it it's that uh, that built but it does have a ladder effect there and it's a purple and an orange and i'm going to say it's a stripe um it doesn't look like it's it's a long stripe. This is quite heavy and I'm going to categorize it as at least a five, bulky five. It doesn't say on here. This is 38% um, nylon, 31% acrylic, and 31% wool. There are 87 yards in one of these skeins and you get five of them. If you'd like to ch a chance to win that, you need to be a member of my Facebook group. I'll link it down below and hop on over to the announcements tab the D stash and all of the make alongs that are going along going on right now will be in that announcements tab you can enter into the hats you can enter into the monthly drawings um, there is a uh, that was a uh, week that's gonna be weekly D stash number 44 can you imagine that? <laughs> I was like, holy cow. It's great. I'm going to open the store a little bit more because it's it's really hot in here. I'm trying to put the fan on low so that way I can you can hear me, but when I do that, it is hot. So, the rest of the month stuff was hats, hats and more hats. This was June prize and this was P Premier Woods and it was in the colorway of Sierra and that was won by Linda F the Linda from the Yarn Barn congratulations to Linda the new hat post for July is up and this is going to be the new yarn it's a Premier yarn also this is a chunky tweed and this colorway is Claret that's a bulky five and it has 97% acrylic and 3% viscose and this is for the hats hats and more hats that runs 
a yearly make along that has prizes every month so pop on over there make a hat post a hat in the proper place and uh, you'll be in the running that also has a bonus prize of a set of hooks that I'm giving away at Christmas time for anybody who is entered in every month I may get lenient on, on that one the quarterly show and tell that was won by Lynn Wiesenforth she won a beautiful kit from Mary Maxim and she has claimed it and um, the new quarterly post is up a new Mary Maxim kit is up and then we had a June winner in the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge. And that I didn't bring over here. Paula has claimed that. The new Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge theme is Christie's month and she kind of forgot to video. So she put up the post in the Facebook page. I'll also link that below if you'd like to join. That is a year long make along also. That one is themed to use your scrap yarns up and your one ball that you don't know what you're going to do with. This month's theme is the beach. I put a whole bunch of uh, in, inspirational like tutorials and, and patterns and stuff up the, la the last couple days. So it's kind of interesting what people are going to make in that for the beach. Maybe a color or maybe, you know, a, a bathing suit cover that could take one skein of yarn. Pretty interesting. So that's fun. Look for her video, though. She probably will post one. The other thing that we finished up was our What Time is Lit Cal? <laughs> and um, Kim went and did a collage video and posted it in the group of all the finishes. And that was great. We had like 24 three or 24 that finished that was beautiful and we also went ahead and picked all the grand prize winners so I want to go ahead and show what I was given now there were four grand prize winners two of which were pulled from um, any kind of progress photos and two of which were pulled from the final grand uh, final finishes so I had one and she had one in each so the final um, grand prize that Kim had was uh, a bag that she made and that went to Lori Gray and then she also had um, a t-shirt and I believe that went to Jill possibly no I didn't write it down I have it. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, it's here. Judy. The t-shirt went to Judy. It's just farther down on the page, and her hand was covering it up. Oh, so Judy didn't claim hers that I know of. Jill hasn't claimed hers. Now, Jill had a choice. She can get one of these skeins of um, cotton colors. They are Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Co Colors. This is a two fine, and it's got over a thousand yards in it, and it's 100% uh, cotton, 193 yards. Now, Jill, Jill is the fiber floozy. She won one of these. She can pick this grays, the grays, or she can pick one of this one, which is the, well, it says gray, but I know it's, there's another place. I've read it off here before. Gray, blue, and tan. And I said this one before. Gray, blue gray black and white and then the third choice is this one dark purple light purple pink so they are gorgeous now Jill has not said anything to me yet she might not know about it so that was um, that was the end of the lit cal and I really really thought that was a big hit we are going to do our next uh, hook and stitch live on July 18th so plan on joining us it's 9 a.m. Pacific 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday July 18th 
we will be announcing our next kale at that time we have talked about it though it will start August 1st and it will be a theme of the vintage mail and that means make along the vintage make along means that there will be a lot more than just crochet and it's going to be vintage themed and the name of it is a stitch in time so look for that we're going to be running that through october it should be have a lot of prizes just like this one did in fact we already have some people donating um, to help us out so it's going to be a big hit the next thing i wanted to address again is the 500 subscriber uh, giveaway it was in episode number 27 I pulled a winner today the winner was named was Misty fan named Jen that's the winner if she answers me back and I check and she is a subscriber she has a week to contact me and she gets that big bag of goodies the next thing I wanted to address was Christmas in July I ran I'm running a, a new kale it is Christmas in July, running from July 1st to July 31st. All you need to do is pop over to my Facebook page and post an item you made with the Christmas theme. Make it green, make it red, make an ornament, make a wreath. Make something that you consider Christmas handmade in, in any, you know. Now, granted... I ha I my prizes is yarn so I usually ask you to make something out of yarn and I usually don't have anybody that doesn't because it's a yarny community but if you make something for Christmas or for somebody for Christmas in the month of July and you post it in there it will be accepted this time multiple entries in this one the prize for that is my knit crate for this month. This is a Vitalina, and it is called Jungle Walk. And why I picked this when I saw it is because to me that's vintage colors with the Christmas. I mean, I know it's it's not exactly red, but vintage colors are kind of like this. Like in the 1800s, if you see some of the Christmas stuff, it's it's faded. And so that's why I thought of it. This is a 400 yards of Peruvian Highland wool, 20% nylon fingering weight. And that's going to the winner of the Jul uh, Christmas in July. <laughs> winner will be picked on the 31st. Okay, so that's all the admin I have right now. Yes, there's probably more because I always forget something and there's always overlapping things going on. So you need to keep up with me. <laughs> you got to keep checking on me. Make sure I put all the dates and cross the I, uh, T's and dot the I's because sometimes I miss things. <laughs> Not always. Okay, well, I have a couple of whips and a couple of finishes to share with you today. So, oh, my coffee. It is Jamaican me happy with peppermint mocha. Mm hmm. And it doesn't have enough ice cubes in it. <laughs> I do put a few ice cubes in it in the summertime. Okay, my first, my first uh, new work in progress is going to be out of this book this is the baby cardigan knit book that I got from Hershner's and this one is the striped one now the only reason why I picked it was because I wanted all the closed uh, increases and I wanted all the buttonholes I did not pick it because I wanted the stripes I am doing it in baby B this is a Hobby Lobby I picked up last year and it is it is beautiful it's so pretty look at that speckles blue and gold speckles it it is 60% acrylic and 40% polyamide so it's very very soft just the perfect little baby uh, 
with yarn. The color on it's called Puppy. <laughs> and it is a three light. And this one has 377 yards. So I'm probably going to get a sweater out of this. So I started it. And I'm using, uh, I think this is the three, uh, four millimeter needles because, and I stuffed this in there, something else. I shouldn't have done that. But I do have covers on it. So I started it and there's not a lot to show you, but I'm gonna come right up here and show you how much I have done about two inches. I'm on row 14 and I'm, I'm very proud of my increases. There's no holes. It's amazing. So that's the neckline. Okay, so on to the next one. Now the next one was one I showed you I think two weeks ago. I didn't have it started yet. I just showed you the book. I got a crochet book in the mail. And I said, oh, I like this baby sweater. I think I'll make it. Well, there's the picture again of the baby sweater that I started uh, Friday. <laughs> I'm using, and I used one whole skein up already, of I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. This is 100% acrylic. It runs 252 yards, which I've already used one whole one. And it's a four medium, and this this pattern calls for a four medium. This is why I chose it. I don't normally use that heavy of a yarn, but I'm saying, you know what? They they wanna, want us to, so here's the colorway. It's called Crystal Blush. And why it is, is because if you look real close, that marl is pink so it's gray and pink absolutely gorgeous now you know i'm a neutral person so you know that you're not going to see bright orange <laughs> my baby stuff i'm just kidding you anyway so i have a a a, a plan a plan <laughs> so i started it on friday and i worked on it a little bit and then today I sewed up the seams so it's not done this is the back you do the back and then you do the arms and then you lay it down and then you do one side and the arm and you lay that down and then you do the other side and you do the arm and you lay it down and then you seam up under arm and then you seam up the shoulder so that's all I have done so far. I don't have any buttons on it. I haven't done the cuffs. I haven't done the hood. But it is done in the moth stitch. So when you go in, in the hole instead into the chain one hole instead of the stitch, you aren't getting such a thick stitch out of it. And it, it's still heavy. It's still a four medium sweater. But again, it's not a newborn size either. I'm doing the biggest one, I think the biggest size that they have on the, the pattern. I do believe, believe I did that. No, I think I did the medium. I'm doing the middle size. But it's still a year, 6 to 12 months I chose. So that is half done. It should be done pretty soon so I've, I have plans for this to zing it up a little bit <laughs> and then I have three finishes to show you they're not big ones but I'm proud of them anyway last week I showed you a hat that I was doing for a commission and she wanted uh, sunflowers on the hat and the booties so I, I had the hat done I did the booties so there's her matching booties and she 
I told her, I said, I only have one size of sunflowers, so if anybody can tell me where I can find smaller sunflowers, I wouldn't mind having them different sizes. You know, like some of the button packs will have two or three sizes in the pack, so that way I, you can put the bigger one on the bigger item and the littler ones on the little item, you know. But I will post both of these patterns down in the description box for you guys to uh, to try them out. They're both very easy. One's called the Parker Booties. I do it all the time. I, I adapt it to. And this hat, it's just very easy. You start with a circle. And then the, you start doing the shell. And when you do, you just don't go all the way around. You go back. So it's really fast the next thing you've seen this also a few times but now it's completely finished it was in this book again it was in the new knit book I got and it was the eyelet sweater so I did it in the hand dyed uh, lion brand wool the woolies the hand dyed and I did the sweater and it and it was done for a couple of weeks but I kept on having this problem every time I showed it or every time I put it on the hanger the buttons would come unbuttoned well look at there guess what Linda Jean House said to me last week take a needle and some yarn and go around your buttonhole and reinforce it and you know what I did you can't tell and the buttons stay buttoned. I'm like, thank you, thank you. So I got to keep my buttons that I wanted to keep. Now here comes the finish part. Here's the beautiful hat to match. I'm so proud of this. 60 stitches. Uh-huh, just a recipe. It's perfect, it matches it. And look at that top, it's not bad at all. I cinched it, yes, but it's not bad. So I'm thinking this is gonna go for the new baby in my family. We'll see, because she can have her choice. I'll just show them all to her and she can have whichever one she wants. But I will ask her and if not, it'll be up in my Etsy shop because uh, everything does go up there that I make usually. So that is finished. Anyone interested in that set, just let me know. I have lots more of that yarn. I can make more. Um, the last item I have to show you today is another hat. Now, I run a hat, hats, and more hats, Cal, in my Facebook group. I've told you about it. Um, and so I always challenge myself to at least one hat per week. And I saw this skein of yarn I got from... Uh, Lovecrafts a little while back and it was all by itself and it was purple and it was Baby Fair Isle Chunky so this was a four it was a four even though it was ch called Chunky but that's because it's in England uh, yarn so I grabbed it and I said well I'll make a hat out of it because I'm not gonna, I don't have anything to match. It's just one lone skein. So I did it again. I added, I went to the standard 60 stitches and look at this. So that might be another one that ends up in my daughter-in-law's hands. <laughs> anyway, look at the top. I just cinched it. That's it. I went and I did, did as far as I thought I should and then I just cinched it up and it came out really nice now this has not got wool in it this has actually got cotton in it I'm pretty sure and this is terrible trying to read a little tiny yeah well it's not cotton but it but it's not uh, acrylics it's 55% uh, nylon 45% acrylic so it's it, it feels a little bit like cotton so that, that's, uh, I'd say three to, three to six month size. Well, that's all I have today. 
I hope every like I said, I hope everybody's having a great weekend. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh, um, thanks for sharing and liking and um, watching my videos. I I read every comment and I love them all. So and thanks for hitting uh, keep keeping up with me and, and uh, joining my group and doing all my giveaways and all my make alongs and all that too. Cause I just I'm having a great time. I just love this channel and all the friends that I've made from it. So thanks, and I'll talk to you next weekend. Bye-bye.